Hello, another project, uh, John Deere 5510. On this tractor, the uh, gasket for the oil pan was leaking. It's, uh, it's been shot, I, uh, it's been leaking for years. I decided to uh, fix it. Um, of course, it's not as easy like everything else on John Deere to fix anything. Um, so I want to give you a little pointers here um, to figure out to help you figure out how to get this job done without uh, going too much trouble like I have anyways um, so oil pan is right here um, I got it removed um, this gasket is like 40 bucks at John Deere I recommend you um, order a new gasket because the gasket goes around these holes as you can see you can't really use the tube um, at least I don't recommend um, order a gasket anyway so in order to remove this oil pan I had to do a lot as you can see check these out I have so much tools up here um, I got so much tools up here buckets and buckets of tools to get this job done um, obviously this is my first time doing but um, on the bottom here I had antifreeze lines so the antifreeze lines came up here and they crossed the oil pan over there and into the cab. I had to undo those, drain the antifreeze. Um, I had to undo these bolts right here, undo these bolts because I couldn't lower the oil pan. If you're curious what it looks like here here we go so the biggest trouble here was uh, that I couldn't get the oil pan lower I mean out without hitting the oil pump all that stuff over there it would not come out it would get stuck up in here and against that and uh, so the trick is to lower the axle. So on this axle, you got four bolts. One, two, three, four on the other side, four bolts. And they're a heavy duty 29 millimeter head on them. Um, and that's uh, the biggest issue is to getting them off. I had to, a lot of them I had to heat. Um, to get them off and um, I had to heat this thing and then I use impact driver and then um, and then it's still hot but um, and then I had to use a, a socket and a wrench and then an extension to get some of these off um, but anyways what I did is I um, used a 20 ton jack right underneath the frame or the front of the, the frame um jack this up um i got these stands for the axle because i removed the wheels uh, so you got one on each side okay for safety i got this block uh, there for safety too anyway so loosen these uh, uh bolts don't don't take them all the way down just loosen them enough as you can see, there's barely any crack here, movement. But the one that did lower it was this one here. Right here, as you can see right here, that's a, it's about an inch. And uh, by lowering that an inch on each side, there's that one right there. Right there, it, it helped me just enough to get the oil pan down and out. And uh, so that's the trick. Uh, anything on John Deere is really hard to do. Everything's packed. I even took the, so I, this is the return line for the hydraulic and transmission fluid. I even took that off. I drained the, uh, the fluid off because this pipe here, right here, was in the way of the oil pan. So I drained that. Also, I had to unscrew the antifreeze line. Uh, um, so that's probably, 
you know which one's return which one is suction suction or, or you know which one is um, for, you know return which one's not but anyway I had to take two of them off because they were both crossing the oil pan there's I had to take that off that off and then um, but yeah the biggest thing is to lower it front axle in order to get the oil pan down um, anyways hopefully this helps um, so yeah that's what it is I'm gonna change the oil filter too which is up there I got the oil filter and oil for this thing anyways but yeah just don't loosen all these bolts all the way down just keep them like that and then um, be easier for it to come to be placed back in yep so what else you want to see here shaft for the front wheel drive off which is there's like little pins it's kind of hard to see there's pins that go through here and uh, remove that on each side right there just remove that and then the plastic housing comes off too um it's pretty much remove everything that's oh i didn't have to remove the uh, hydraulic lines for the front cylinder for the steering I kept those I try not to remove the hydraulic lines so the hydraulic lines stayed um, intact I removed the um, uh, this return only I removed the antifreeze lines and that pretty much it but yes I need all these tools to do the job um, there we go this tractor has only 800 hours on it but I'm not sure why a lot of things like this fail um, so a lot of gaskets are leaking um, I remember we built it I rebuilt just recently this uh, front wheel uh, housing but anyway a lot of things just kind of like the gaskets are not that great on it anyways Hopefully this helps you. I would recommend using some kind of plastic um, spatula thing to scrape off the old gasket off the engine block. Don't use metal. Um, don't use a chisel. You'll scratch it and uh, it might leak. Um, be very gentle on that. Um, so that's my recommendation. This is a plastic, it's, it should do the job.